Hi, I'm Brian Catanella, a member of First Presbyterian Morristown, along with my wife, Chris, and sons, Brady and Bryce. Way number 10 is join hands. Work as a team, collaborate with each other, our professional staff, our lay leaders, and our congregants to find the best solutions. Collaboration lightens the load, generates better ideas than individuals working alone, and unleashes the gifts God has given us all. When I think of the way join hands, I'm reminded of a recent NFL football game that took place the last playoffs. There were two teams preparing on the sidelines for the game. On one sideline, you saw players milling about, disorganized, a group sitting over here, another group talking to each other in a small group, uh, some players not even looking onto the field before the game. On the other side of the field, you saw a team completely unified, joined in arm, arm in arm, hand in hand, preparing for the game. Which team do you think performed better that day? The unified team was the one who won. And it reminds me as a church what we can do together. There's an old African proverb that says, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. And I think that's an important reminder for what we can do together at First Prez. As a former offensive lineman and football player, one of my coaches used to always stress the importance of five of us working together as a unit. Five strong, a hand, a palm, a fist could do a lot more power than you could with one finger. When we think about collaboration and how we can help each other and grow together at First Prez, there's a leadership principle called plus minus equal. If you think about a plus in your life, for me, it would be a mentor, someone who's perhaps got a spiritual discipline that's more developed than I have, prayer life, scripture reading, relationship building, small groups, um, seeking out those mentors. Who's the plus that you can find in your life to help you grow? The minus is someone that you seek out to mentor them. What skills and talents do you have that maybe you can help them develop and help our church grow in as well? And then equal is a peer. Uh, as iron sharpens iron, as we've learned, um, helping one another both on the ups and downs. And I've had that in my own life with the small group that I'm a part of. We gather together each week, and depending on where we are in our lives, one may be lifting up the other, but we're always there to support one another in prayer um, and in thoughtful conversations in terms of our lives and serving God. Lastly, thinking about joining hands, uh, I'm reminded of the end of our service here at First Prez. When we join hands together, we pray for one another. Oftentimes I'm holding the hands of my sons and or my wife. Um, that just feeling of unification, that feeling of love that we can worship together, loving God together. Imagine if we could continue to have that both uh, on a physical sense, but also metaphorically as a church, continuing to join hands, um, to work together, to volunteer together, to serve together. Think of ways that you can join hands and together we can go far. And that is way number 10, join hands. <laughs>